Guys, bit of a weird one tonight. We've got where to do it. The punk, the punk IPA, the perfect draft. And I forgot to turn off WhatsApp. Well done. Let's just turn that off. Sorry, guys. Uh, I can't realize that it's I'll leave it in. Anyway, yeah, we're on the per punk IPA tonight on the perfect draft. First thing I notice is it's clear as a bell. It's golden in colour. And very little carbonation. Punk used to be really hazy, right? And really quite lively. This is neither. <laughs> this isn't hazy. It's more like a golden nail. Um, it's got a sort of, it looks more like a sort of orangey colour on there. It's holding its head though, it's got a decent sort of one sort of thing of white head, it's holding the head decent. It was probably one of the more expensive kegs for Punk IPA, right? It's like 42 quid for a keg, which is quite expensive. There's been a bit of hoo-ha about it on all the beer sites, but I reviewed beer. It'd be rude not to buy it, I don't mind Punk IPA now and again. Pick it up on PD, show the crackies, eh? Look. The worst it can be is like the stuff you buy from Lidl and Aldi, the cheaper stuff. The best, it can absolutely blow Punk IPA away. I had a can last night just to sort of re refresh the mind about what Punk tastes like because Punk's weird. There's nothing else quite like it. This is 5.4%, I think. She used to be way more than that. She used to like six or something back in the day. But anyway, slight, slight, <sighs> couple of bumps. See bumps. Say so golden colour. Still holding that head. Let's get stuck in, shall we? It smells like punk IPA. There's that real bitter grapefruit there that you're getting from the punk. <laughs> Everybody drinks beers at Punk IPA at some point. You all know what it, it smells like. The question is, does it taste any different on the PD to it in a can? Um, no, not really. It's cold, obviously. It's nice. It's got that bit of grapefruitness to it. There's a bit of bitterness. And that's it. <laughs> there ain't much to shout all about. Um, it's perfectly drinkable. Nice and easy. A little bit watery. Feels a little bit watery to me. Still nice, refreshing, easy drinkable beer. It's a bit too expensive for me personally for what it cost. 42 quid, I think it's very expensive for Punk IPA. It's alright, it's nothing special. I can't really recommend it to be honest with you. It's Punk. It's nice and drinkable, but say it's just punk. It, it tastes no different to me to the cans or the bottles. It's exactly the same. It's just all right. 42 quid, I just can't recommend it. I just can't. Not at that price. It's way too dear for a bang average supermarket beer now. Um, So it's perfectly drinkable, it's just nothing special, it doesn't blow me away. It doesn't make me go, wow, I need to have another pint of that. It's it's just alright, <laughs> that's it. 
However, however, if you bring this to the PD, that could be a game changer. Again, look, here's my can from before. I had a can, just to remind myself. That tastes better to me than this, and this is on the PD. It's just nothing special. It's just bang average. Perfectly drinkable, but just nothing special. Saving money back. Saving money by the Franciscana Royal. It's cheaper. You get more bang for your buck. And you won't be disappointed. <laughs> right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm... Yeah, average at best. Take care, guys. Peace. Sip on Sip on